Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. I'm Miss Laura. I'd love to hear your name. I'm so grateful that you made it back today. I'm also feeling very playful this morning. Now, playful is a positive feeling where you're excited and you want to play, but you have to remember when it's time to play and when it's time to work. If you're on carpet time listening to a story, you're going to need to calm your body down so you can focus. I have a special wheel that's going to help us pick a calm down activity that we can do together. Let's spin our wheel and see what we're going to do today. So let's see. Here it is. Ooh, a sensory bottle. Those are super fun. Let me grab one. I made two. This one is made with water and a little bit of cooking oil and a lot of gold glitter. And what you can do is you can shake it up like this and then it's nice to watch the glitter flow down to the bottom and that helps relax your mind and keep you calm. Now I have another one that I wanna show you too. You can do these at home with recycled bottles. This one I put puffy things in, and this one you can roll back and forth like this and watch our puffy things flow to the top and then go down to the bottom. That also helps calm you down. Now another way that you can calm down and really find out what you're feeling is by looking in the mirror. So this week you've been helping me pick out my letter mirror. Let's do that again. I'm gonna grab my blue mat. Now this letter is a little bit tricky. A lot of people have a hard time naming it. Let's see if you can name it. We're gonna need a big curve like this. And we're gonna put that on here. And then I'm going to need another big curve like this. We're gonna put that right on there too. And then I'm going to need a little line and we're gonna put that right here. If it'll stick, there. Do you know what letter that is? That's the letter Q, that's right. It's one of our trickiest letters to learn. Now let me grab my letter Q mirror right here, and we're gonna look at our feelings together. Let's see. I think I know how I'm feeling. Now it's time for you to check in on how you're feeling. Let's watch together. Like Can you point to the picture that shows how you're feeling? If you don't see a picture that matches how you're feeling, say your feeling out loud. If you're having a strong feeling like scared, sad, or angry, take belly breaths. That might help calm your body down. It is so important for you to check in on how you're feeling, not just once, but throughout the day. And don't forget to check in on those around you. Have you checked in with your parents and see how they're feeling today? So important. Now we have a special friend today. His name is Aiden. See, A for Aiden. Can we say hi to Aiden? Hi, Aiden. Now Aiden loves to make faces for the camera. Look at the face that he made today. Do you notice that his eyes are kind of up like this? Look at his mouth. He's making a very special movement with his mouth like this. I wonder if he's grimacing. Hmm. How do you think Aiden is feeling? If you think that Aiden is feeling angry, can you make an angry face like this? If you think that Aiden is feeling confused, can you make a confused face like this? Hmm, let me take a look. Ooh, I don't know. I see both angry and confused faces. 
Aiden, you're so good at making faces. We can't figure it out. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Now, boys and girls, if you want to share your story too, don't forget to ask a parent, a family member, or a teacher to send it to the address below. So let's see. Our bell means it's time to check our plan for the day. We did our emotional check-in. Time to do our weekly investigation, and I promised you that we would be making some healthy snacks, some superhero snacks, and that's what we're going to do today in our video. Then it's going to be time to sing our goodbye song. Does that sound like a good plan? Okay, let's get our bodies moving with a movement card. I'm going to flip this card over. You're going to see a letter and a movement that starts with that letter that we'll do together. Are you ready? Da 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 da! Ooh, it's our tricky letter Q. We made that earlier. Q for quick. Quickly walk in place. So I'm gonna quickly walk over to my intentional message. All right, let's see. Stand up. Ready and quick, 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 quick. Good. Okay, so here's our message that we're focusing on for the week. It says, teeth help us chew. They help us chew our food. To keep our teeth healthy, we need to brush our teeth and floss our teeth and eat lots of healthy foods. Now you've been helping me sort healthy and unhealthy foods. So let's see, what about this food? It's a platter of meat. Meat has a lot of protein. And in fact, we have special kind of teeth that help us chew that food. I think that's a healthy food. Ooh, how about this kind of meat? Chicken nuggets with fries. Hmm, is that healthy for our teeth or unhealthy? Fries and chicken nuggets are sometimes foods. They're not the best for our teeth. I'm gonna put them over here. Look at our poor toot, so unhappy eating that. Last one, this looks like guacamole with some corn inside of it. I've never had that before. Don't make a disgusted face, I bet it's good. Do you think it's healthy or unhealthy? Yeah, I think it's healthy too. It has some vegetables. Thank you for helping me sort. Now let's check in on Chompers because I think he has another question for us. Oh, Chompers. Let's see. Chompers, come on out. Hello, Chompers, hello. Did you get to brush your teeth? Oh, so good. I wanted to tell you about something else that you need to do. You also need to floss your teeth. Floss my teeth? Yes, so when we eat our food, if it's healthy or unhealthy, little particles get between your teeth right here. So we need to take a little piece of floss that looks like string and get in there to get those particles out so you don't become germs. Now, I think I have some floss for you here. Let's see, I got extra big pink floss and we're gonna practice flossing our teeth in there. Are you ready? Yes, is it gonna hurt? No, it's not gonna hurt, silly. You're barely gonna feel it. I right, open wide, ready? Oh, okay, let me get in there. Oh, there you go. Don't your teeth feel better? Now remember, you have to floss and brush every single day in order to keep your teeth clean. We have a special song that we're going to sing about brushing our teeth, and it goes like this. Brush your teeth up and down. Brush your teeth round, down, round. Brush your teeth from left to right. Brush your teeth in the morning and the night. Brush, brush, brush. Brush, brush, brush. Brush your teeth in the morning and the night. Now, I also speak Spanish, so I'd like to sing it for you in Spanish. Are you ready? It goes like this. Cepilla tus dientes arriba y abajo. Cepilla tus dientes de aquí y para allá. Cepilla tus dientes izquierda y derecha. Cepilla tus dientes día y noche. Cepilla, 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 cepilla. Cepilla tus dientes día y noche. Okay, let's watch our video to make our snack together. Let's watch together. Let's be superheroes so we can save the day. Wherever there is trouble, we're on our way. Let's make a snack. Can you help me pick out healthy ingredients? Can you pick the food that's better for our teeth? Is it apples, 
Or is it lollipops? That's right, it's apples. Apples are a great fruit for your teeth. What about peanut butter or frosting? Can you pick the one that's healthier for teeth? That's right, peanut butter. Frosting has a lot of sugar, and sugar is not good for teeth. Hmm, which one's healthier, marshmallows or chocolate? This one's tricky. Marshmallows and chocolate are sometimes foods. That means you only eat them once in a while. Now to make our snack. We're going to be making apple peanut butter smiles. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Peanut butter, marshmallows, an apple, and a butter knife. Step one is to cut the apple into slices. Now you can use a butter knife like this. You might get a parent to help you. Or you can use a fancy tool called an apple slicer. This is what it looks like. It has a circle in the middle and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles. To use this tool, you put the circle in the middle of the apple and press really hard. Look at all those juices flying. Step two is to smear peanut butter on your apple slices. Smear means to spread. Step three is to add marshmallows to one of your apples. Remember that marshmallows are a sometimes food. The last step is to smush your apple slices together. And there you go, an apple peanut butter smile that's delicious and healthy to eat. I hope you enjoy this messy snack. Now remember, you can learn all about cooking in the books around you, and don't forget to check the Sora app. All right, it's time to check our visual schedule and see what we accomplished today. We did our emotional check-in. We did our weekly investigation about teeth. We even made a superhero snack. Did we get to eat teeth made out of marshmallows? So fun! And now it's time to sing our goodbye song. Will you sing it with me? All right, let's stand up. Goes like this A, B, see you later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya. H, I have to go now. J, K, bye bye now. L, M, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, are you gonna miss me? S, T, you are my best friend. V, W, X, Y, Z. And you are, you're my very favorite friend. Boys and girls, I hope that you come back tomorrow where we're gonna do some art inspired by teeth. Strange. Remember, Pima Slara sends you a big squeeze, a big smooch, reminds you to read, to play, and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye, my friends, so glad you came. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.